If you have an old spirits bottle lying around and you don't know what to do with it, then consider making it into a terrarium. I particularly like the Pistons Gin Bottle because it has a little window on the front and a super cool lid. I think that this is the easiest kind of terrarium you can make and it could be completed by a total novice in less than half an hour. For the best plant and terrarium advice, subscribe to my channel and hit the bell to be the first to know when I upload a new video every Thursday. So here are the things you're going to need. An empty spirits bottle, a baby nephrolepis fern, or another suitable terrarium plant, some fine grain gravel like pea gravel, lava rock, or molar clay, a long chopstick, a spray bottle filled with filtered water, a funnel, a long pair of tweezers, terrarium soil, to see how I make my soil, click the link in the top right corner. First, divide the fern into two or three pieces. Do this carefully and try to keep as much of the root intact as possible. This may be difficult, so don't worry if a few leaves fall off, that's totally normal. Add around two centimeters of the fine grain gravel into the bottom of the bottle. Now add roughly three to four centimeters of the terrarium soil into the bottle. Give the soil a light spray with some filtered water so that it's slightly damp. Be careful not to saturate it. Using the chopstick, carefully make a hole in the soil for the plant to fit into. As the opening is small, the root ball will need to be reduced. Do this by carefully removing the excess soil and squeezing the roots into a sausage-like shape so that it can fit through the hole. It may help to dampen the soil before doing this. Do this carefully and slowly. Once it's in place, use the tweezers or chopstick to firm it into the soil. Give it a final light spray with some water and we're done. Ongoing care. To keep your terrarium healthy, it's really important that you give it adequate light. And this can be achieved by placing it in a north facing window or by using a warm white or daylight white light bulb in a regular lamp. I recommend that you download a light meter app on your phone as this will tell you exactly how much light a certain area is getting. 
you'll want a minimum of 200 foot candles and a maximum of 600 foot candles for this particular fern. Now this might sound complicated, but it really is simple. The app is very easy to use. It just turns on your front facing camera and you hold it in the place where you want to put your terrarium. And so long as that area has a minimum of 200 foot candles, you'll be good to go. But I must stress, it's really important that you do not put your terrarium in direct sunlight. The link to the app I use is in the description below. So the terrarium will need infrequent watering and it's so important that you do not overwater it as the bottle has no drainage holes and that water will have nowhere to run off to. The soil should be slightly damp and absolutely not wet or saturated. If you have a lid on your bottle, it's important that you remove it every few days to allow some fresh air in. Or if the opening is small on the bottle, then you'll be able to leave the lid off permanently. But if you do this, you'll need to keep a closer eye on the levels of moisture in the soil because you don't want the terrarium to dry out. And don't be alarmed if you see the odd leaf die, that's totally normal. Plants often shed older leaves and push out new ones. It's a totally normal cycle. What you can do is remove the leaves if you wish, or you can add springtails in your terrarium. Springtails are a type of microfauna that feed on mold and decaying matter. So a fallen leaf in a terrarium will eventually mold and decay. The springtails will feed on that and it just becomes part of the ecosystem. If you need springtails, Micro Exotics sell them in the UK. Or if you're in Worcester, drop me a message and I can put them in your bottle for free. So that's how I reuse a Pistons gin bottle. I really think that this is the easiest kind of terrarium you can make because it's just one plant in a bottle with a little bit of terrarium soil and it could not be simpler. I'd like to thank Pistons Gin Distillery for giving me the bottles and the Jungle Club in Worcester for providing the plants. If you enjoyed this video and would like to see more content like this, I'd appreciate you subscribing to my channel. I upload new videos every single Thursday. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you in the next video.